Oh, welcome back, everybody, to the Play Game Cafe Mid-Season Showdown. I'm Giovanni Costa here with the tallest man alive, Andrew Nolak. What's up, Drew? What's up? You that was that was so unnecessarily <laughs> hyped up. But oh, we gotta keep the hype going because we have a match for you guys. I can't be hyped for this matchup. Well, we gotta but hype it up. So wondering for those wondering why Gio is so enthusiastic, it's because we're playing. We get to see his favorite team archetype. Oh yeah, on stream. Um, <laughs> And it's not for, him, but for this top four match, we have Sean Martin versus Ben Goff. Uh, we've seen Sean on stream twice already. Yep, and we're about to see Ben. And, and you're he about hasn't... to see the team that Gio has been all day. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Chansey. We've literally been trying to not do this on stream, but it has finally made its way here. There ben is no escape. The team of Chansey, Carbink, Smeargle. Sableye, Ryu Ryuniclus, and Mime Jr. The memes are real, people. Here we have a Chansey team, and dear Lord in heaven, get your get your what soda, you get your popcorn. Get, popcorn. get a lot of popcorn because you might run out of it. But, you know, in the actually, you can go order. You can honestly go order and go pick it up in thirty minutes because yeah. probably could. So yeah, uh, Ben picking up his team really quick. I mean, you know, when you have a team like that, you sort of know what you want to do at all times. And the match is about to begin. I really want to see how Sean's going to be able to deal with this because, you know, if he can't stop that Chansey from setting up, like, he's going to have a really hard time just doing anything. Yeah, this the meta grows here for Sean is going to be really important. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have to be careful with that Sableye because exactly. it could, could potentially be running foul play. But yeah, I, I think he's got the right approach here with Ludicolo and Metagross. That would yeah. just shut Carbing down, like Carbing Chansey down. But we see it parallel. Yep. So Smeargle, of course, pressuring Fake out on both of these, or Follow Me and a Spore on a Metagross. Um, Metagross here, I wouldn't be surprised if it's just sucks. But, uh, of course, with a Carbing here, you're probably expecting a guard split. To just start boosting defenses. So Metagross is going to Mega Evolve. No switch ins. So let's see who goes for the fake out first. The opposing Miracle Bane. was going to go for a Baneful Bunker. So if uh, if Ludicolo or Ludicolo hits that, it's going to get poisoned. Yeah. Carbink is going to go for the Protect. So no damage is going to be dealt to Ben this first turn. Fake out going into the Carbink, trying to break that uh, sturdy. Not going to happen. Uh, but, uh, mm -hmm. Sean making the read and going for the substitute here. So. Uh, so yeah, I like that play from Sean. Just getting the sub up as early as possible is just good to me. Cause... Yeah, but at the same time, like, now Smeargle can just go for the follow me, and like, oh, yep, that's exactly what's going to happen. Smeargle's I mean, going to go for the follow me, so... Where the sub makes sense there, though, is like, you know that that's probably going to be a double. And rather than just burn an attack, you just get the sub up. This yeah, but... Like... yeah, but now Carving... Is, it's a free trick room for Carving, and... Now you can just go for the guard split, so... Yeah, then guard split chancy stuff is gonna come. Yeah, so... Carbink is gonna go for the trick room, so now... I have no doubt in my mind that Car uh, Chansey is gonna come in. He's gonna do the guard split, which makes Chansey pretty much unkillable. And, uh, I hope you guys got that popcorn we told you to get earlier, because it's gonna be a long game. So, uh, Chansey... Pretty sure it's probably just me clicking minimize here. I mean... It's got nothing else to do. <laughs> yep, yeah, and minimize yeah. from the Chansey. Wait, can Guard Split miss? No. It's oh, a boy. field move. It's a field move. <laughs> well, that's that, folks. Uh, we got the Guard Split and the Minimize. Uh... Uh, Carving goes down to that double. So it looks like Sean's just playing the game. Okay. Alright, so Sableye coming in, probably gonna go for a psych up, and Chansey now is a brick wall. There is just no way to take that down. Unless he gets a string of, like, crits, and yeah. This is gonna be a Mega Sableye, too. So can't be taught, like, Sean's, from what it looks like, isn't carrying taunt. 
unless it's on top of Coco. But now, even if it does, there's no way of because yeah. of the mag magic bounce ability. We see a fake out in the loop, and we should see a seismic toss. So no, should be uh, able to no pick it. Up, but this should break sub. Yeah, it should so be able to pick, break the sub, which it sub. does. So now Metagross is gonna go for an Iron Head onto the chance he's gonna do. No, that didn't. That's Mega Metagross Iron wow. Head. And that just does damage. Well, that is uh, that's game. Uh, I mean, I'm not. I'm for one not the one to try and give up easily, but I just don't know what Sean can do here at this point. Yeah, I think I would have rather have seen him continue the game plan where you just keep continuing to kill. Chansey's partner. Mm -hmm. Because right now, Sableye is pressuring Metagross with a foul play. Yep, Sableye goes for the foul play onto the Pelipper. Just gonna, you know, break Sash. Not that much damage. Minim minimized from the Chansey, so now it's a plus four evasion. Oh lord. And we see Hydro Vortex coming out. Yep. This Probably isn't gonna put a knockout on either. Uh, so, Sableye should and range. Mega Sableye is a really bulky. Well, but look how angry that Ludicolo is. It's really angry that he has to deal with Minimize. He's going to go for Hydro Vortex into that Sableye, which may or may not be able to pick up a kill. Let's find out right now. And... Yep. Does. Okay. Yep. Was... Sableye is... All right. I'm actually kind of surprised at kills. Sableye is... But... So... <laughs> continuing... So... Chansey has watched three of its teammates die. Um, but... Here's the thing. It's... If there is a Pokemon that can bring back 1v4, it is Chansey. Yep. And we see Tapu Koko coming. Now, the good thing for Sean here is that he does have hur access to Hurricane and Thunder, so the Minimize really doesn't matter here. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, though, because of Chansey's high, really, really high special defense, it's just not going to take enough damage from it. So Minimize again. So now uh, Ben is at plus 6 with that Chansey. Is, well... <laughs> Uh, oh, that, para, full para, please. Yeah. <laughs> so I think if I'm Sean here, what I would, I'm a little bit surprised Sean switched out the uh, Pelipper, uh, because I think the best play here is to just keep going for Thunder and Hurricane nonstop until that needs some damage. So if the Iron Head connects here, which does not, and another Seismic, Seismic Toss comes in into the Metagross, going to do 50, which we'll always do. So Metagross has two more turns at the very most. So he, if uh, Sean could double hit right now, well, he'll definitely hit the Thunder. Thunder from the Tapu Koko coming in, going to do decent damage to this Chansey. If he can connect Iron Head, maybe he might be able to pick up KO here. Uh, we saw how much Iron Head did earlier. Oh, Iron Head does connect to the Chansey. It's, does, it, does he get a flinch? Oh, it does not get a flinch. Soft boil pretty much oh, negates everything that just so happened. Cool. Oh, that was the most exciting part of this game. Oh my goodness, okay. So this game is honestly interesting. Yeah, it's actually... Uh, I think Sean is playing uh, to his outs to the best that he can here. Thunder yeah, coming in again. You have to hope for like a Thunder para here. Yeah, and maybe a flinch with them. Wow, this yeah. Thunder's doing so much damage. Wow. Iron Head oh, coming in. Does connect with the chance that he doesn't pick up a flinch. Soft boy. Uh, oh. <laughs> Chancey is pro. Is just like, nah. This is a no RNG game. Oh. Go away. <laughs> so now the rain has ended, so I'm assuming Metagross is want to switch out here for the Pelipper. And the good thing is that now uh, uh, Sean has two moves that can, will hit 100% of the time. Okay, Pelipper being at 106 here is big because it's going to force three seismic tosses from Chansey to kill. And exactly. we see another Thunder. Um, so Gonna this earlier. Kogo is going to have to switch out at some point to reset its terrain. We actually see Chansey go on the offense. Yeah, so actually, this is my bit of misplay from Ben. He should have kept soft boiling to get to max health. Now, oh, but the electric train does yeah, wear electric out. Yeah, well, so Thunder is not going to be doing it. And Tapu Koko is only at 40, so one more seismic toss and it's over for it. But maybe Pelipper can go for a Hurricane, pick up a... Uh, ooh, Pelipper actually switches out in a matter of... Switch out into the Metagross, so I think uh, at this point Sean is just hoping that he can hit us. Uh, he's just hoping to get Thunder again. So no extra training. It's gonna be doing a lot. It's gonna do not that much. Maybe he could pick up. Oh, he gets a crit. That crit would have been really helpful. 
Turn Blood Soft Boil comes in. No. Well, um, I'm surprised that there wasn't a hurricane there. Yeah, if you if he doubled up there, you know the RNG chances are on his side. So, yeah. so I'm pretty know, sure Thunder has a. Yeah, you're hitting him with two moves that have a third of yeah. inflicting condition on him. And that's, of course, something you kind of. All right, there's the para. Finally gets the para after. Probably too many thunders. Iron Head does it connects with the Metagross. It might be able to pick up a flinch here. Does Chance get flinch? It gets a full paralyzed. So now it gives Sean a chance. Here, you have like you go. You have to go for another thunder. Like yeah. he says that Coco is gonna go down because you can't just the, like you thunder, hope for a para, and you just come in and hurricane next turn. My, my screen went to the screensaver because I didn't move it. So, but uh, here we go. So. If the Iron Head could connect here, Iron Head does it connect? It connects with the chance. Is it gonna be able to KO? If the side it survives, it's low. Oh no! <laughs> what? Oh. Will not go away. Sean is so close. Oh, Sean could have tasted victory, but it just a little, just needed a little bit more damage. But of course, Pelipper now can go for the Hurricane, which can cause confusion. So, Sean has been getting pretty lucky with the Iron Heads. I'd say you know. What is the chance of hitting it at this point? Like, less than 50, right? Yeah, he's hit three of them. He has four Iron Heads plus wow. Sense of Vision. So, Hurricane plus Iron Head plus Para, so... It, chance for moving. moving. Let's see if that's happened. Chance is flinch! So, but the oh, rain puts him away. Stopped. So now, Pelipper's gonna have to switch out one more time if he wants. <laughs> Alright, so, apparently he has a one... Iron Head. Against plus six Minimize, and he's done that four times. 33%. It's like hitting almost three sheer sheer calls. Jesse oh, does avoid it. it. The Brian the Brian does the hit. Is it enough to pick up a KO? It no! is not Jesse goes with the oh, oh, no. oh, 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 oh. He's so close. There's chance he's just like no Mommy. I'm not going Hey, you're you're gonna have to earn this. Yeah. Palper does come out because you know he just can't do enough damage. Ludicolo coming in. So if maybe you can get another Iron Head, let's see if that happens. Iron Head onto the Chansey. It's going to miss, so Chansey's going to go for another Soft Boil, so it's going to be back at full. And, yeah. If you're Sean here, you know, I'd probably be crying a little bit, but, you know, that's just the way it goes. I think you have to switch. You have to try and get Pelipper back in at some point here. Yeah, you, like, maybe you fake, try and fake out with Ludicolo and get a switch. Yeah. But, so let's see, fake out from the Ludicolo. It does connect with the Chansey, so, you know, okay. Uh, Iron Head does connect with the Chansey as well. Not going to move because it would have gotten flinch anyway. But that's just, wow, that damage is nothing. Like He's going to need about three connects and flinches in a row. And that's asking for a lot. Well, you know, where there's a will, there's a way. And Sean has a lot of will right now. Switches into Pelipper to try and get, to get the rain back up and, you know, if you can get connect to the Iron Head and get a flinch and then get a hurricane and get a confusion, maybe something can happen. Iron Head hits again! Wow! Iron Head onto the chassis. Seismic Toss does okay. come out. You take you take Seismic Tosses, though, because it's not soft boiling. So. Yeah. so now if Metagross can connect to the Iron Head, get a flinch, and Hurricane can, can get a confusion, it will, the odds will be in Sean's favor to be able to get this. Iron Head does miss, however. Hurricane comes in into the chassis. It's not going to do that much damage, but it could get a confusion. It does get the confusion plus the para. Let's see if Chansey is able to move this turn. And oh gets the soft God. oil out. Okay. This Chansey is like Nick Collin Snorlax from US Internets. Yeah. But, you know, Sean, I gotta say, Sean has been getting decently lucky with hitting every single one of these Iron Heads. But, you know, uh, I think he's playing to the best that he can. I, I would have liked to, for Sean to maybe have done more damage earlier on uh hurricane coming in again hurt so i don't know what to say i think notice is sean is getting really low on you time well he still has two minutes of six seconds loss here soon? uh i mean i think by the time he is out of runs out of time he would uh already be pretty much knocked out of all his pokemon hurricane is going to connect is going to be able to pick up another confusion sean does need this in order to keep up oh but this Metagross is going to go away. So now it's just Pelipper and Ludicolo. And eventually this rain is going to go away. So uh, yeah. Sean's home. Turn. This, I'm pretty sure this is the last turn of 
So it's gonna have to hope for a, a full paras. Yeah. At this point, I think this is definitely winnable for Sean. He had a chance earlier, but I think he needed to keep Pelipper and Coco in at the same. Exactly. He had that opportunity, but he switched Pelipper right out. So. Giga Drain into the chance he's not going to hit it. Uh, Hurricane doesn't going to connect. Is it going to be able to go confusion here? It needs its confusion. It does not. Seismic Toss comes in into the Pelipper slot. Going to do 50 damage, so the Pelipper can take two more of these. Rain does go away, so now Pelipper does not have the 100% accuracy anymore. I think you're Sean here. Forfeiting here might be an option. Just saving yourself time. Oh, Giga Drain connects. Does literally, like, wow. That was ridiculous. Well, I mean, I, if I'm sure, I'm still going to try because three or four paras. Okay. There's one. There's one. He's able, home crit and a brine crit. If he's able to get a brine crit plus to hit every one of his moves, plus two more paras. I know this is a lot to ask for, but, you know, if Giga okay. does connect, is it going to... Okay. Let's see if Brian's going to be able to connect here with the chancy. Come on, people. Bless RNG onto the chat. Brian does connect with the chancy. He's going to do decent damage now. It's under 50. Software. Back, so <laughs> forget about all that. <laughs> this chancy every time Sean is on the cusp of winning, it just breaks through that paralysis and heals up, <sighs> and just pushes Sean just further. Oh, Sean like, wants to force it out. I, uh, I mean, I can see why. You know, try and save the overall timer. Um, that is unfortunate. But Legacy on the chat saying, "I believe you in you, Chancy. Can we get a ban, please?" Thirty-five um, minutes under. So that match took, that only took 15 minutes. Okay. So. 30. But that's not, like, this is something where Sean, like, if he wins this game, like, you can play game three to where you KO all of Chansey's friends and you just 1v4 it again and he'll win game three based on that. So, like, if Sean wins this game, I feel really good for him being able to take a game three. But like like I said, you just like we saw the he has the potential of winning this game. You had to continue yeah. to just KO Chancy time, and the key for winning the Chancy end game, as we saw, is Coco Pelipper. is being able to connect on Hurricane Thunder, and getting that Para fusion potentially on there, and just preventing the soft boiled. It's just something that he's gonna have to go for. You know, it's a shame that um, well, Ban choosing his team really fast so you probably we probably know what's coming you know i think one thing that sean could try and go for here is uh, maybe not like if he had double spread moves he would have been he could like go for an earthquake plus a second spread move to just get rid of the uh the car bank and then that would have been his in to be able to you know win this game um, i mean yeah that is an option but he only I mean, has the three, earthquake you, have, you don't have another spread move but you also have to be like Smeargle is there with wide guard support, too. Oh, is it? Okay, never mind. Like, that's typically what Smeargle... I'm assuming it has wide guard on this, because otherwise, yeah, that would just be a way... The card being mode and shut it down is just through double spread. All right, but, so we're going to see game two here. Sean needs this one. We do see Landers here. Oh, so, we do see Landers, so he could go for Earthquake plus Fake Out. Uh, but, of course, Smeargle is able to wide guard, maybe Fake Out back. Uh, actually, hold up. Sean has a play here. Um, if he's predicting double protect, you can Hydro Vortex the Carbink and break it sturdy. Mm -hmm. But or I think you if... do that into Smear, or, or you can do it in a Smeargle and Earthquake Hydro Pump the Carbink next turn. So he, this is definitely a lead. I think is better. I think him. if we're, I think if for Ben here, you just uh, Smeargle should be faster than Ludicolo, right? So you just mm -hmm. think. Oh, no. Ludicolo is. So okay, Ooh, so maybe, maybe it's for that... that play I was just talking. Yeah, let's maybe. see if that play does happen. So Carbic is going to go for the Protect. Ludicolo is going to go for the Z-move. Earthquake from the Landris. Yeah, you do. This is. You, this is. You do Earthquake here every time, I feel. Yeah. Ludicolo is not going to take that much damage since he is a Grass type. Does Ludicolo go for the Z-move in order to break the uh, Sturdy? It does. Oh, Very good play from. Sturdy is no longer a factor. And now this is a great play from Sean. Wow. I want to see who this targets. I wouldn't be surprised if the target Smeargle to break the... Because I then you Earthquake you... Hydro... But doesn't Carbink goes down to uh, Earthquake I don't know anyway? if Carbink goes down to Earthquake. <laughs> oh. 
I mean, that Hydro Vortex did decent damage, so... Yeah, Hydro Vortex only... did a lot. Like, that would have just brought it down to sturdy. Yeah. So, so now, if Smeargle has to choose between going for... Uh, I think if you're Smeargle, me. you have to follow me and just... Oh, let's see if Carbink is going to be able to take this Earthquake. This is... If Sean is able to pick up KO on Carbink, he's in a great Players position to win this game. Land is going to go for the Earthquake into the Carbink, which is super effective. But it should have to pick up a KO! Hooray! Carbink goes down turn... Turn 2. Not being what shenanigans this game. Giga Drain into the Smeargle, so now no Trick Room split. Now Ban is going to be staring down two really, really good Pokemon that can do a massive amount of damage to both his Pokemon. Pokemon, which is probably Sableye and Chansey. However, even though Chansey did not get the did not get the protect that he, I mean the the guard split that he needed, it still can go for minimize. Oh, Renucleus or Renu. Oh, so he brought a backup. Oh, no bueno. Okay, so I don't know. Like we saw how important ship ship ship. So maybe, yeah, you just Earthquake with Landorus. This is actually going to kill Does it pick up a KO onto the Ludicolo? Ooh, yeah. it picks up a KO onto the Ludicolo. So now he can set up sure a ton of minimizes. And... So now, Sean, oh, the luck God. that Sean had the first game, he's going to need it again this game in order to maybe pick up a win. Yeah. yeah. I'm assuming this is just Pelipper and Tapu Koko for Sean. Here's the thing, though. I don't... Uh, I don't know if this Ryu carries a psychic move. Because if he has whatever he has in the back, Ryu Nicholas is a really strong special attacker. And I'm worried about psychic plus seismic toss being able to. I'm about. I want to look for this QR code. But. Because I don't. Like, if this Ryu Nicholas carries a psychic this could be really bad. Because you just double. And then you're losing one of your. He didn't even bring Coco. Yep, Metagross oh again. Metagross, Metagross coming in toxic from the nucleus into the Metagross. Steel type minimized from the Chansey. So now it's a plus four evasion. And Hurricane from the Pelipper is going to hit the, oh, the nucleus. Uh, does really good damage, actually. Wow. Okay. You know how we said Sean should have forfeited? I actually take that back. He should have kept playing this out and oh. forcing game two into a situation where that game toward this game would be the one that ends the Yeah, but then... Ends the sudden death. And yeah. Chansey always loses sudden death. That's true, but he would have to play all... I mean, he only had a couple... Wait, protect? Uh, confused? Oh! Oh, it is Shattered Psyche! Oh, but it's probably gonna go for the Pelipper. There's no reason to go into... Uh... There's no reason to go into the Metagross here since it's time to resist. Yeah, this isn't a Pelipper, and this is a Seismic Toss. So Pelipper is going to drop... Yep, Pelipper, if he gets doubled into with Seismic... Add two... It's going to be a, a 2v2 situation here, so he's going to have to hope for it that his RNG is on his side. Defense the curl! Defense curl! Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh lordy, help me. Hurricane um, from the Renucleus. That was, I mean, into that was the a Renucleus. Good target. You have to get. You have to get. You have to preserve this Pelipper. Well, now not only does um, Sean has to hit his moves, he also has to get crits. Yeah. And, and I don't like those, so oh, we're just gonna switch we're, out. This is all right. So getting Landers in here. The only problem is Landers can't go for an Earthquake here because otherwise he's gonna hit his own Metagross. I mean, he could I switch think, into Pelper. Uh, you just have to super pray. For, I feel. Yeah, but now he has a plus two defense, so it's going to be in a ton of defense. Iron Head does connect with the Chansey. Does okay it damage. Does, does more damage than it did with. There's just the same amount of damage. Yeah, but the thing is, they can just go for soft boil, then defense curl, defense curl, defense curl, and you know. Yeah. But if you're Ben, like no, if you're Sean, you make this game take as long as possible while still remaining up on you time. Right. You gotta try and bring this to round timer. He has to survive 35 minutes. That's a lot of time. And, uh, and he goes to Rock Slide. Uh, I think Superpower Crit might. 
he needs to start going for uh if he has superpower he needs to go for that and hope for a crit that's his only way well, out. we just told him metagross go first and trick him so this is scar uh, iron head plus he, we just need to go for this and another minimize we have tw so we have 26 minutes left all this out yeah it's um yikes not there's i don't think there's a any way that he can uh stall this out for 26 minutes uh I'm rock really slide surprised we didn't see top yeah. from sean this game yeah i don't know metagross i mean metagross did do a ton of damage last game but it's only because it was actually hitting its moves uh the defense can see plus six defense now is it plus six i thought it was only plus three Defense, wait, is defense curl plus one? I thought it was just plus one. Oh, okay. So Rock Slide does finally connect. Uh, but it's, uh, yeah. So it's a plus four defense now. So it's like, oh, oh no. I think you, you gotta just, Pelipper's gonna have to come in for Landers. I, does Landers not have superpower? I thought it was a, uh, well, I, I guess it's Scarf. But... Yeah, Landers has to get out of here. Like, it it needs to... If it is Scarf, like I think it is, because it's outspeeding the Metagross, he has to be able to come in and just go for superpowers and just go for a crit. This is his only way out here. And, you know, the chances are against him, but, you know, that's all he has. Yeah. We just all see the misses. Yeah, he we used all his good RNG last especially, game. And now, especially since he's just going into Metagross. You gotta yeah. try and... Like, now is your opportunity to get... Yeah, he needs to get this Lenders out, but he keeps in, and pretty soon, if he if he's not able, if this Metagross goes down, he's not able to switch it out, and he's stuck doing Rock Slide, which doesn't have 100% accuracy, so it's already hard enough to hit it. He, Sean needs to get this Lenders out of here. I don't know why he's not doing that, but, uh, I mean, he's playing and I'm not. Rock Slide stays in, and uh, I think Sean might be, oh, Iron Head does so connect. Iron Head flinches a pop. Uh, but, but no, me so now... So now Landers is, yep, Landers is gonna be stuck here doing rock slide, and I just, I know I hate seeing Chancey getting all the way to the finals, but I think that's what's gonna happen here because unless he can get Pelipper is gonna go down to one size McTaws. Rock slide is like has a really low chance of hitting this Chancey. Even if it does hit, it's just not gonna do enough damage. If Sean had switched out and locked himself into superpower, he would have had a much better chance to maybe getting a crit and maybe winning this whole game. Mm -hmm. Rock Slide. We already saw how much it did earlier. Really. Rock Slide doing. Wow. Yikes. Hurricane connects. Maybe can get a confuse here. We can only hope so. Does, Does not. Oh, yeah, but it gets the flinch. Okay. Okay. We're almost there. Just need to do that 10 more times. So, yeah, this is. He needs five turns. Rock Slide does connect again. Maybe can pick up a. All right. As everyone um... has said before. Come on. <laughs> Hurricane doesn't okay. pick up a confusion to boost soft boil and yeah. Every time he's getting uh, Man, that's depressing. It's like when you ask a girl out and she says no. That's like that's what that soft boil was. This is like no, what it's more like is you ask and you see the bubbles typing the response. And you're you got all this hope sort of that she and then she says no. Yeah, something like that. And Palper is going to go down here, so now it's this Scarf Landers with Rock Slide against the Chansey at plus six minimize and too much defense. And yeah, Sean's going to forfeit. Chansey, don't be moving on to the finals. No! Why? Uh, well, I, I will say this, you know, it got pretty exciting around the times where Chansey could have gotten knocked out, but, you know. All right, Leonard is going to be the next one into top four. Do you know who he's playing against? Uh, he's going to be playing Matt Carter. Okay, uh, Matt, Matt Carter. Matt, of course, is the 2014. So it should be a good match, hopefully, and uh, stay tuned. Wait. We'll be right back.